Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Corker. As you can see, we've just finished these two lovely cars. Now we're gonna head off to the next customer. Follow me on this journey of a day in the life of a luxury car cleaner as I'll be showing you how I take care of the most exclusive cars in London. Okay chaps, so we've just arrived to the next customer of the day. Let's have a look to see what we're working with. So, as you can see, we've got this gloss black Lamborghini Urus. It seems to have been parked underneath this tree for quite a while, hence why it's covered in leaves and debris. To begin with, we've encountered a couple of problems. The first one being the space. I guess we don't have the keys to the car, we can't move it. The second one, the road, it's quite narrow, so it's a bit more difficult to wash the car. So follow along as I'll be showing you how I deal with this. And now let's start with step one, taking a look at the condition of the car. So this Lamborghini Urus is in for exterior clean and as you can see it has been targeted by the trees above as it is covered in organic matter. Let's get started with the wheels as I pressure wash them. This Lamborghini Urus has common ceramic brake discs, which changes my approach to cleaning them, as I only use pH neutral car shampoo along with my wheel brushes to clean these spokes. So no strong cleaning chemicals are used as they can cause problems with the carbon ceramic brake discs. If this car had normal brake discs, you'd have seen the wheels in a dirty brown colour due to the brake dust. If you want to keep your car clean then be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as I'll be sharing all my tips and techniques in these videos. So normally at this point I would snow from the car but since there's a lot of sticks, leaves, debris I would recommend taking it all off then snow from in the car. So because this car is so close to our customer's car we're going to push the water towards this direction, away from this car. Time for the snow from chaps. This will loosen all of the dirt left on the Lamborghini. Let's remove the snow from along with the dirt it has encapsulated.
Although majority of the dirt has been removed, there is a small amount left which can only come off with physical contact. So I use advanced Tino microfiber wash mitts to safely and effectively clean the urus. The Tino detailing brush is also used to get into those areas which the mitts can't. Head on over to our store tinocarcare.com for the best detailing products. I now clean the lower portion of the US with the blue colored mitts. Time to pressure wash the shampoo off of the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Urus, the Audi R7 and the Bugatti Chiron are my top 3 favourite cars. So far I've had the pleasure of washing 2 of them, now I just need to get my hands on the Audi R7 to complete the list. But let me know in the comments below, what are your top 3 favourite cars? Time for the Tino Ceramic Snow Foam, which is a revolutionary product as it allows you to apply ceramic protection to your whole car in the easiest way possible. This will act as a shield against the elements, allowing your ride to maintain optimum condition for longer periods. It also makes cleaning your car a lot easier as the dirt struggles to stick onto the car. Just look how the Lamborghini is not allowing the water to stick onto it. One second. Something's not right with this jet wash. So as you saw chaps, our jet wash stopped working, there was just no pressure coming out. So chaps, we need to fix this ASAP as we have another client straight after. Time to clean the glass and give it that streak free finish. The Tino exterior detailer is used to give that crazy shine and extra protection. Let's shine, nourish and protect these tires.
and here are your results. Enjoy. One insane shine. This Lamborghini yours looks like a mirror. Also, as you can see, not even a drop of water has touched the Mercedes. Okay, chaps, let's quickly make our way to the repair shop. So chaps, we've got a long journey ahead of us. Hopefully we don't miss this customer. And a lot of you might know who this guy is. Of course, we don't want or expect problems like this to happen. But as in any other business, obstacles come in our way and we need to find ways around them. decided to stick around and just explore the place. Because I was so focused on taking care of my customers cars, I neglected my own jet wash and my own equipment. So to avoid something like this happening to you, you need to service your equipment regularly and my other advice is get another jet wash. So get like a cheaper spare one and keep it in the van. Okay chaps, so we've just been called by the company and they've told us that it's ready to collect. So let's go pick it up now. We are back in business boys, let's quickly make our way to the last customer of the day. Hello chaps, we've just arrived to the next customer, let's have a look at the condition of the car. We have got this Ferrari 458 Spider, and as you can see, it is covered in a light layer of dirt and contamination. The interior of the Ferrari is in similar condition to the exterior. Which is good to see, as here it is a common idea that Ferraris are rarely used and only sit in garages. But from what I've seen, Ferraris seem to be driven quite regularly for the most part. So let's get this detail started as I spray pre-wash onto the tyres and arches before a good pressure wash. I then use different brushes and a mitt to give them that perfect clean all round.
Once all wheels are cleaned, I move on to the pre-wash using Latino Blue Snow Foam. Not only is the blue snow foam awesome to look at, it provides a great pre-wash and can attract a lot more attention to your business. So if you'd like to get your hands on this or any other product that you see us using, then head on over to the Tino Car Care website, the link is in the description below. After letting the blue snow from sit on the floor for a couple of minutes to loosen the dirt, I performed the pressure wash. Notice how I work from top to bottom, ensuring not to miss a spot. Extremely satisfying stuff. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Time to wash the 458 Spider going in straight lines using multiple mitts. The Tino detailing brush is used to get into all of those tight gaps. What an awesome comp, I especially like the way these gold wheels go with the red paintwork. Let me know in the comments below, which car would you prefer, this Ferrari or the Lamborghini Urus we washed earlier? Let's now protect the car with the Tino Ceramic Snow Foam. This gives an even coating on the whole exterior. Insane water behaviour achieved every time. I now dry the car with extreme ease. An air blower is used to flush out the water in more difficult to reach areas. I now clean up the gloss.
I spray the gloss, wipe it and then dry it with a dry side of the cloth. With the gloss clean, let's jump to the interior with a vacuum. The Tino scrub pad and interior detailer are used to give the interior a deep clean while the edgeless orange cloth is used for drying. This video is sponsored by Turbo Watches, which has been inspired by your favorite sports cars. Let's finish off the Ferrari and go over any imperfections with the exterior detailer. Time to wrap up this clean with the tire shine. We'll finish. Let's have a look at the results. Amazing results. Be sure to try out these methods yourself too. It's so shiny. I forgot <laughs> how red it was. <laughs> it's a big difference. So that is Christian Williams from BLTB. They actually give away supercars to lucky winners of the competition. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> this has been a day in the life of a luxury car cleaner gone wrong, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and here are two more videos I think you would like. <laughs>